Hi, I'm Matt Parkinson from uh, Dragon's Breath Forge. Uh, we are located in Woolcut, Connecticut, which is just outside of Waterbury, Connecticut. I've always had a fascination with metal. I think I wanted to blacksmith the first time when I saw a blacksmith working at a living history museum. And I walked in, and it was probably like four or five, and he's hammering on something. Man, it's hot, and there's fire and sparks, and I'm like, I want to do that. I went to school for machining because I thought it was the closest I could get these days to this kind of work. Um, I graduated from tech school for that, and there's a lot of misconceptions about knife makers. You know, we're all scary people. If you do it for a living, there's definitely some traits that show up over and over, stubborn, crazy, um, <laughs> you know, just, but that's the same as any small business owner. So anybody who works with their hands, anybody who's a craftsman. There's uh, four of us in the shop here, myself, Michael Coffey, Peter Schwarzbert, and Jamie Lundell. And uh, all of us have been on Forge and Fire, and uh, all of us made the finals, and all of us won, except for Michael. Come on in. <laughs> so the first area I'm gonna show you is our personal benches. Um, we each have our own bench where we keep our own tools and hand tools and where we like to do our finished work. Next area here, and divided by this bench space, is our machining area. We have two lathes, two mill machines, and a surface grinder in the corner. We're an extremely well set up shop for a great variety of work. Um, we've I've been very lucky to be able to be in the space and, and have this uh, awesome shop to work in. So this is our main forging area here. We have two power hammers. We have a 110 pound Turkish hammer, and then our 400 pound uh, nozzle 4B, which we just got running last October. I love that machine. Hey Thomas, what's this? Anvil. Is that Daddy's anvil? Yeah. Thomas is three and a half. He'll be four in November. He's my little buddy. I want him to to know how to do things with his hands. I want him to know how to make knives. I want him to know how to blacksmith. Ready? We go like this. We go like this. We go. One hand. Hold your lens. This is the only thing I really want to or know how to do anymore. And I am lucky that I can make a living most of the time doing this. On the other hand, I don't know what else I would do in my life. This is the only thing that gives me any kind of joy in, other than my family. I know I need to make a move. I got a big concern right here with Jason. He does not have a glove on. I'm more concerned about my blade than I am burning myself. He's gonna burn his hand. Oh no. He just burned the heck out of his hand.